Opening tip is brought to you by Ingmar Phillips Insurance, offering home health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance. Ingmar Phillips Insurance, Kukas against Lamar Blackwell. And the game is underway. It's off the hands of Delorier, and it's taken over there in the corner there by Dylan Finer. So Ken Denver with the basketball first. Finer on the outside right with the basketball to last to Blackwell. On the outside left back to Finer. Finer against Derek Lynch. Bounce pass down low to Lance. Lance in the lane. Lean shoots. Partially blocked out of there by T.J. Kukas. And Kukas had lost the basketball as it went to Lynch all the way to Finer, who lays it up and in off the glass. Pete Dickers cannot be committing turnovers in the opening 30 seconds of the game. And already, Ken Denver with a 2 nothing lead. The winner of this game will advance to the quarterfinals on Thursday from Moby Arena. The Laurier down low for Kukas. Banks it in to the left of the glass. Nice feed there by J.D. That was a beautiful feed. Good job with C.J. reading that play and doing a little back to our move. Here's Dylan Finer with a basketball, and that pass is poked out of bounds by Lynch intended for Matt Britton on the outside right three-quarters court to throw it in will be Ken Denver. And I'll tell you, this is a very lightly attended game on the Ken Denver side. We'll see if uh, some fans pull in, but this gymnasium is pretty much half empty. With a basketball is Finer on the outside left to Richard Yates. Yates on the right to Lance. Now to Finer down low, Blackwell banks and misses, and Jeremy Delorier with a strong side rebound. Here's Joe Rosenbach into the front court. Left corner for Lynch. Bobble the ball, got it back. Bounce pass to Waynard. Waynard left of the lane. The strip, but he got the ball back and maintains the dribble. Waynard back out to Rosenbach. We paid a minute 15 here in this opening quarter. Kukas bounce pass to Lynch. Lynch gets a pick from Delorier. Picks up his dribble. Bounce pass to Delorier. Right corner, Rosenbach. Down low. Waynard puts it up and in from five feet away on the right baseline for Kobe Waynard. And now the beat diggers lead by a score of four to two. 6.25 to go in the opening quarter from Englewood. On the outside left, Britton with a basketball. Gets a pick from Blackwell into the lane. He puts up a shot off the glass around. No good. And the ball is fought for loose in the corner. And it's picked up by Rosenbrock. A brush. Here come the beat diggers. The outlet pass to Kukas. Back to Rosenbrock. Still in the backcourt. Now across the timeline. Rosenbrock against Finer. Left wing for Waiter. Penetrates left baseline. Bounce pass. Looks like it went off the foot of a 10 Denver Sun Devil. It's turned over. Devils have the basketball. Finer, bounce pass down low for Lamar Blackwell, spinning on Delorier, shooting up the side of the backboard, gets the rebound. He hooks, and that's partially blocked. It's taken away by Delorier. Excellent defense by the beat diggers. Across the timeline, here is Derek Lynch. 5.39 to go in the opening quarter. Brush four, Ken Denver two. At the top to Kukas, holding the ball up high, right of the lane. Kukas is going to bounce it over to Rosenbrock, all the way, puts it up off the glass, and he missed it. Lamar Blackwell comes away with a rebound, his second. That point blank shot missed by Joe Rosenbrock on the outside right. Britain with a basketball against Rosenbrock. Gets a pick. Looking down low feet to the Blackwell, left of the lane, 10 footer good for Lamar Blackwell, and the game is deadlocked at four. Here come the beat diggers the other way with Derek Lynch. Lynch with 5.05 to go in the first. Brush for Ken Denver for. Wainer gets a pick from Kukas at the free throw in the lane. The floater's up and too strong, and the ball is tipped into the hands of Kukas. Bounce pass to Rosenbrock. Beat diggers will reset. Near the top to Lynch. Lynch with a basketball, and there was contact, a blocking foul on Richard Yates. Scott Shays, the head coach, doesn't like that, but I think that was actually a good call. I believe it was a good call. Neither one of them, I mean, he wasn't letting her go, and you have to allow them to move in the same place. They're getting thrown out, but he didn't straighten his arm, so that was a great call. And the B Diggers now set up on offense. Todd Jay is giving one to the piece of his mind over there. Lynch on the outside left to Colby Waiter near the top to Laurie. Now low for Kukas. Turn, shoot. Banks misses. Rebound to Richard Yates. Into the front court is Dylan Finer. Finer with a basketball. Spinning at the top of the key. Into the underneath the basket. Scores. And Blackwell's got four points in the game. And the lead is two for 10 Denver, six to four. 420 to go in the opening quarter of the second round for the state game. Bounce pass to Kukas to the high rock at the top for Delaney. Left wing for Lynch down low. It's cut off the center for Kukas. Intercepted by Finer. Three turnovers. None for Kent Denver as a result of being bigger down two. Bounce passes. Turning to Lance. And he's fouled by C.K. Kukas. Lance will go to the line. Well, Kent Denver is just doing a straight up man to man, and they're starting to get into the passing lane, which we talked about before. Our boys have got to go to the pass, and if they go to the pass, those will end up being fouled as hard as Kent Denver is coming out on them. Two shot foul here for David Lance. As he steps to the line, he shoots, and that one is in. 
Ken Denver now in the lead, 7-4. to four. Ken Denver's the fifth seed. The Beat Diggers seeded 12th. Both earned double-digit victories last night. Second free throw is up, and that one is in as well. Ken Denver's on a 6 nothing run. They lead 8-4. to four. Here comes Jared Smith into the game for Richard Yates. Rosenbrock with a basketball in the backcourt. Rosenbrock across the timeline on the outside left, left corner for Deloria, holding the ball up high. Down low for Whaler. Inside for Rosenbrock, puts it up, and two score makes an easy layup, and the ball is volleyball into the hands of Derek Lynch, and we have a traveling violation. So the Bay Dickers have committed their fourth turnover. No pressure. Now mild pressure being applied in the backcourt as Lynch will pick up Dylan Finer. Into the front court, the pass to Britton against Rosendrock. Dribbles to his left, hands it off to Jared Smith. Pulls up from 10. That shot is off the back of the rim. And Derek Lynch grabs the beat digger rebound. Lynch across midcourt on the outside right. Looking inside, feeds in right corner for Rosenbrock. Back out to Kukas. Kukas takes a shot from 15 feet. Good inside the three-point line from the corner. C.J. Kukas loves that spot. He scores. Beat digger down 8-6 to six with 3.18 to go first quarter. In this 3A state tournament second round game from 10 Denver High School. Finer trip by Lynch, but Finer gets it. Back out to Lance beyond the three-point line. To his left is Blackwell. Down low for Jared Smith. Turn to that's an offensive power travel. So it's going to be a turnover either way. Looks like he threw an elbow yeah, in there. He, he's got to not lower that shoulder if he's going to get in there. Joe's not going to back down. Obaldo Cruz replaces Jeremy Delorier, and Derek Lynch is replaced by Casey Bay. So the Bay Diggers can tie on this possession with under three minutes to go in the opening quarter, trailing 8-6 to six in this second-round 3A state tournament game. On the outside left with the basketball is Bay. Bay dribbling towards the top of the key, swings across court to Cruz. Cruz against Jared Smith to his right. Bounce pass, right baseline for Bay. Now ball for Rosenbrock, and he picks it up after missing it, and puts it up and in. So Rosenbrock was able to get his ball miss and score. And the game is deadlocked at 8 with 2.35 to go in the opening quarter. On the outside left, Blackwell with a basketball. Near the top to Lance. High right to Finer, guarded by Cruz. Cross court to Britton at the free throw line. Down low to Blackwell, up and under, off the glass. Two strong, then rebounded by Lance. He banks, and he scores. So Lance gets the rebound. He's got four. b Diggers trail now 10-8. We've got 2.13 to go in the first. Bay on the outside left with a basketball. Swings at the Rosenbrock. Near that right corner to Kukas. Kukas looking down low. Bounce pass to Wader. Ball tipped away. Taken by Kukas. 15-footer. Yes for C.J. Kukas. And the game is deadlocked at 10. And C.J. Kukas has six in the game. He's been a great shooter all year. As we have a minute 53 to go in the opening quarter. On the outside left in front of the beat digger bench. Britton gets a pick from Blackwell. Bounce pass to Blackwell against Kukas. Up and under shot. Off the glass. Too strong. Rebounded by Lance. Back out to Britton, and the pass inside tipped away, and it's knocked out of bounds. I think it went off Smith. They're going to say it went off Cruz and Seth. That was a good possession right there. The boys are stepping in front of their passing lanes now. The only thing is, once the shot's taken, whether it's blocked or not, they still have got to block out and go get those rebounds. Minute 40 to go for all of your auto supply needs. Stop by Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. And committed to serving those in production. Ag, Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. Smith with a basketball. Near the top to Dylan Finer. Boy, it looked like he threw an elbow there. They're going to call the block, though, I believe, on Obalto Cruz, who bodied up Finer. So Cruz has committed his first foul. Beat Diggers with two. Ken Denver with one. With a minute 36 remaining in the first. With the basketballs, Jared Smith on the outside left of Britton. Britton picks up his dribble at the top to Blackwell, who turns around, swings it right side over there to Alan Pellis just into the game. At the top to Finer against Ubaldo Cruz. Gets a pick on the right side. Over to Tellis. Straight away three is going to be short. But the long rebound goes to Blackwell. There's another three, and that's it. And that is made over there by Matt Britton. Three with too many second chances allowed, and now trail by three. 13 to 10. A minute three to go in the opening quarter. With the basketball is Whaler to the outside left to Cruz. Cruz looking down low, tries to dribble by a defender, kicks it back out to Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock into the lane all the way, scoops it up. He did not score, but he was fast. He knocked it down, but Rosenbrock to the lane, and that foul was against Dylan Cox, his first. Nice move by Rosenbrock, who had the open lane, and he took advantage of it. Well, and Ken Denver is playing a very high-pressure defense, so they're up in their shorts, and so when that happens, that opens up a lane for 
the drive and kick, possibly. First free throws for the Beat Diggers. Joe Rosenbrock is an outstanding free throw shooter. He makes that one, and the Beat Diggers trail 13 to 11. Deloria is into the game for C.J. Kukas for the final 52.9 seconds to go. Normally, that's when Kukas gets replaced in the final minute of a quarter, especially first or third, just to give him a breather. So he's pressed for the second and fourth quarters. Well, that gives him two minutes instead of just one at the break. Rosenbrock, second free throw is up and in. Beatinger down by one, 13 to 12. Rosenbrock is out there, and Lynch is back in. And you've got two great pressure defensive guards with Lynch, as well as uh, Ubaldo Cruz. With the basketball, Britton in the backcourt. Now into the game is Bailey Tills. Tills across the timeline to Jared Smith on the high right. Smith gets a pick, dribbling towards the free throw line, jump pass down low, and that's a blocking foul against Casey Bay, and Zach Hawks went up for the shot. Well, I don't think Casey was there in time. I think he was just trying to get his, his feet there, so I think that was a good call. That was a fair call. So Zach Most to shoot two. And the free throw is off the back of the rim. No good. Most has a rather unconventional free throw shooting style, which makes it difficult, you can tell, to be a little bit consistent for the line. B. Diggers down by one and even 40 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Second free throw for Moltz is in the air. That one's in. Substitution as Richard Gates comes back into the game. So it's Nate Hills, Smith, Hillis, or Tellis, I should say, as well as Zach Moats for Ken Denver. Lynch, Waiter, Cruz, Bay, and Delorier for Brush. Lynch on the outside left of the basketball. Bounce pass near the timeline to Bay. We're down to 27 seconds to go in the first beat. Diggers down two. Cross court bounce pass to Lynch. Lynch holding the ball up high. Dribbles into the lane by defender. Bounce pass to Bay. 15 footers up and off the front of the rim. No good. And Zach Moats grabs the rebound. Moats with the outlet to Bailey Tills. They'll take the last shot of the quarter with eight seconds to go. With the basketball at Yates to Jared Smith with six. Into the lane. And it looked like he traveled. Puts up a shot off the glass and in. Two seconds to go. Into later. Later puts it up from about 70. And that's an air ball. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. In Denver, 16 plus 12. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.